Well, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Mayun. We are going to have to get rid of J Rock's two brothers because of what he did to our brother. He had persuaded him to kill himself, and I don't think we should take that lightly. If you know what I mean. I don't know about that, Bubba, because isn't that a little too extreme for us? And besides, J-Rock was a drug dealer, and our brother J already knew that. So it's not like he didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know exactly what he was getting into. I think that's the point. Maya, I know what kind of point you're making, but the point I'm making is this. We have to do this. This is exactly what we have to do because this is what our brother would want us to do. Is get rid of them. And let me tell you something. I think I have a plan, if I'm not mistaken. So, JS, what you think we should be doing today because... Man, I feel like just getting out there and, I don't know, doing whatever I, I think I can do or whatever I feel like doing, if you get my drift. I don't know about that, J. Michael, what we're going to do today, but I, I started to hear some rumors as I went on the street about Bubba and Mayo want to take care of some business. I don't know exactly what they were talking about, but I'm thinking that they probably want to get rid of J Rock's two brothers. I probably not sure, but I have a feeling that since J Rock was supposedly had killed JJ supposedly, then I guess they would probably want to take revenge on the two brothers but I'm not sure yeah I hear you JS probably so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna probably check it out see what's going on probably gonna go around the street see what's up and hopefully I'll probably find out what's up in the meantime you have to decide what we're gonna do today because I feel like doing something with somebody, hopefully. First of all, J. Michael, you need to get your mind out the gutter. Second of all, you shouldn't even be playing detective. And what we're going to do today is we have things we need to do. We got to take care of the bills. If you remember, the funeral costs some money. If I'm not mistaken, and Jay Wood is gone. So we got to take care of whatever bills he left behind. So instead of us going out and partying, or you getting hooked, hooked up with someone, since you obviously want to get freaky, I suppose we should take care of that first. Then think about something else. So, J.S., you know what, I think we're going to hook this up. I, I mean, I keep saying J.S., I know that's J. Wood's brother. I mean, Jerry Jones, I keep calling you J.S., I guess because I'm thinking about what what we did years ago. We used to hang out in different clubs and stuff like that, go and party. But you know what? Forget the past. I want to know what's up today because I feel like doing something. Man, and I know you want to do something. It's just a matter of time where we can hook it up and take care of our business. 
first of all, before we hook up with anyone, rumor has it around town that Jay's brothers want to, I supposedly want to get rid of us. So I'm thinking that maybe we should take it easy today. Besides, since J-Rock is gone and JJ is gone, and since we were four brothers, now we're down to two. I feel as though that we should take it easy this time. So my advice is to keep everything on the down low. Don't let anyone catch us doing anything or should I say see us do anything. So I think we should uh, just do that. Hopefully maybe get a little you know, part time jobs and just do what we have to do to make it. Oh Jerry you always have a problem. I know our brothers is gone. At least one of them died in that drug bus bullshit whatever. But anyway, I guess you're right. After all the shit that happened, I, I suppose that you're right about it. We should just lay low, I suppose. And hopefully, we'll be able to, I guess, take care of our business that we need to. As for the matter of Jay's two brothers, I wouldn't worry about it. It's not like they'd be able to do anything anyway. So, besides, push come to shove. If I have to confront them, I'll confront them. Because I'm not scared of them. But I'm not going to be some wussy or some punk that's going to run away. Not me. I'm going to take care of my business with any means necessary. Well, if it ain't J. Michael, so you decide to come and tell me what I should or shouldn't do. Because if you remember years ago, we used to hang out years ago. I remember years ago, we all used to hang out together. That's when we were kids. And then when we became teenagers we still hung out I guess when we became men we all went our separate ways but I'm gonna tell you this Jerry Hollywood and Jerry Jones his brother both of their brothers should I say got rid of ours And I know what these people are going to say. I know what they're going to say that Jay was sleeping one day and J-Rock came to him in a, some kind of dream or some spirit. And wanted him to kill himself. But I always knew that J-Rock was going to kill him no matter what. And why should we be the ones that have to suffer? First of all, yes, we used to hang out when we were kids and teenagers. Second of all, it was our brothers who were starting to sell drugs, not us. They got into the a business. They messed up. All right, your brother messed up by hooking up with J-Rock. And instead of worrying about Jerry Hollywood and Jerry Jones, you should be worrying about you and your brother. But it's okay because, fourth of all, we need to move on and we all hurting, not just you. So the thing is, is we have to learn to be friends once again. 
I think that should be our main goal. Nothing else. Well, if it ain't Jerry Hollywood looking good, I guess you look just like J-Rock. It's the same. You know what? I can't believe that we were friends years ago. All of us. And now we gone. They gone. I can't believe that we. it was just all of us together. It was just memorable. And I'm never going to forget those days when we were kids playing in the playgrounds. When we were teenagers hanging out, going to the movies uh, or the theater, if you want to call it. And now it's almost like we fell apart somehow. All of us. I don't I don't really understand how how that happened. Yeah, I know. I know it's been a long time. I know it's it used to be J Rock, JJ, myself. It used to be Jerry Jones, J, Mayo Bubba. It used to be J Wood, J Michael, and you. It used to be all of us. And I know it's been years since we all talked. I know it's been years since we really hung out together. I can tell you this. If any of Jay's brothers think they're going to get revenge on myself, I'm sure that's probably what's up. It's not going to happen. Because you know what? We need to put aside all this bullshit and try our best to be friends like we used to be it wasn't us that got into this business of selling drugs it was our brothers did that so we have to learn to put our differences aside and be friends once again well well if it ain't Jerry Jones. It's been a long time since we hung out, talked to each other. You know, you're lucky. Since I'm seeing you, you're lucky. I'm not ready to choke your ass. Or should I say kill your ass? Anyway, I can't believe years have passed when we were friends years ago. And now this happened. This tragedy of our three brothers actually dying. And JJ finally lived to be pretty, pretty old the gentleman before he passed away. I'm never going to forget all of us when we were all together. When we were kids and teenagers. I can't believe time passed so fast. And we all separated. It seems like it was just yesterday. I always wondered what would happen to all of us. Now I know. Well, if it ain't one of Jay's brothers years ago, yes, we used to hang out. Yes, we used to do things together. Go to the movies. We did that years ago, but now things changed. And you know what? Maybe we should all forgive one another. I think that's the main key in this. And that should be the... That should be it. This should be the test that brings us closer together as friends once again. And, and if you ever feel like trying to kill me or choke my ass or whatever, let me know. I think it's time we mend our relationship. All, all of us. Or should I say all six of us. Because it used to be nine of us. All nine of us used to be friends. And now, we're not anymore. Because of one tragedy. I suppose that's how it goes in this world. 
Alright, I decided maybe we should call it a truce this time. And then hopefully we'll be able to be friends. So I'm thinking that I want to do this. I want us to be friends once again and put the past behind us. I'm thinking the same thing. I want us to be friends. We can put the past behind us, at least for now, and try, I guess, our best to be friends. Uh, hopefully, we'll have a, a, a get-together. We can all each have a part-time job, see where it goes, and then from there, we'll see what's up. You know what I think? I think that's a good idea. We could all be friends. And take care of our, our business and then hopefully we can all work out some kind of I guess some kind of agreement see what we're gonna do and then hopefully we'll be able to do what we have to do what's necessary for all of us to be friends once again even though the tragedy happened I think we can achieve at least that moment I think this sounds like a good plan for all of us. We could all do that because I think we need that. Since all of our brothers is gone, I think we need to come to some understanding. And hopefully we'll be able to take care of what we have to, no matter what. Because just like we were friends when we were children and then when we were teenagers we were friends I think we could still be friends I think if we could put the past behind us we could be friends I think finally put our anger issues aside I think that's possible you know what that sounds like a good plan too because man I know I miss my brother both of them but I think we could be friends once again I think that's gonna be our our mission to do that finally and then from there we'll see what happens I think we all deserve that and if we could put our anger and hatred and bitterness behind us I think we could be friends I think that's a possibility Sounds like a good idea to me too and that part-time job also sounds good. I think we could mend our ways, our differences. I think there is a way that one day we will look back on this and I suppose laugh about it. I think we can become friends like we used to be. I know our brothers did things that they shouldn't have but you know what? I think we as a friends are we could be a family, help one another. I think that's possible. I think anything is possible in this world. 